Welcome to Goalie's Pip Academy. Hey explorers! Imagine looking up at the night sky and seeing waves of green, purple, blue, and even red swirling above you like magic. Well, this is no ordinary light show. This is the Northern Lights. These lights, also called the Aurora Borealis, are one of nature's coolest displays. And today, we're diving into everything you need to know about them what they are, how they work, and some super fun facts about where to find them. Ready? Let's get glowing. So what are the Northern Lights exactly? The Northern Lights are natural light shows that happen near the North Pole, lighting up the sky with beautiful colors. But here's a cool fact. There's also a Southern version of the Northern Lights called the Aurora Australis, which happens near the South Pole. Both are caused by a special kind of space weather that comes all the way from the sun and combines with Earth's magnetic field to put on a spectacular show. Let's break down how it all works. First, it starts with our sun. The sun isn't just a big bright ball of light in the sky. It's constantly sending out energy in the form of tiny particles called solar wind. These particles travel through space and eventually reach Earth. Our planet has something called a magnetic field, which acts like an in invisible shield around us. Most of the time, Earth's magnetic field protects us from these solar wind particles. But near the North and South Poles, some of the particles are able to slip through. When these particles collide with gases in Earth's atmosphere, like oxygen and nitrogen, they create a colorful glow in the sky. It's like when you rub your hands together really fast, they get warm, right? Well, when these particles bump into the gases in the atmosphere, they create light instead of heat. And that's what we see as the northern lights. Different gases make different colors. Oxygen makes greens and reds, while nitrogen creates blues and purples. So the next time you see a green aurora, you'll know it's because of oxygen up there in the atmosphere. Okay, time for a quick quiz to see what you've learned so far. What is the official name of the Northern Lights? A. Solar Waves B. Aurora Borealis C. Space Glow Is your little one working on finding their first words? You're not alone in this journey. At Goalie, we've developed a speech and language system to support early language learners. Our goal is to help kids learn their first 50 words. Here's what makes Goalie special. First is, we have interactive apps designed by expert speech therapists. We make ad-free content like this to support learning. And lastly, our app for parents lets you track your child's progress. Every child develops at their own pace, and at Goalie, we're here to provide that extra boost. Our system has already helped thousands of families across America support their kids' communication needs. Visit getgoalie.com and use code YouTube10 for 10% off your first purchase. Again, that's getgoalie.com to give your learner a boost in speech. If you said B, Aurora Borealis, then well done, that's right. The official name of the Northern Lights is Aurora Borealis. Now, where can you see the Northern Lights? The best places to see them are close to the North Pole in places like Alaska, Canada, Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Iceland. These places are called the Aurora Zones. And because they're so close to the magnetic poles, the Northern Lights are brighter and more frequent there. People even travel from all over the world just to catch a glimpse of this amazing sight. The best time to see the Northern Lights is in the fall, winter, or spring, because it's dark enough at night. And remember, the farther you are from city lights, the clearer you'll see them. But sometimes, if there's a big solar storm on the sun, the northern lights can be seen even farther away from the poles. There have been times when people in northern parts of the United States, like Michigan or Minnesota, or even places in Europe, have been able to see them too. Imagine looking up in your own backyard and seeing the sky light up with colors. How cool would that be? And did you know that different colors in the auroras can tell us a lot about what's happening up there? Green is the most common color, and it means the particles are colliding with oxygen at lower altitudes. 
red is much rarer and happens when particles interact with oxygen higher up in the atmosphere. Nitrogen causes the blue and purple colors, which usually appear at the edges of the aurora. So if you ever get the chance to see the northern lights, pay attention to the Keoplers. They're telling you a story about what's happening way up in our atmosphere. Here's a fun fact for you. The northern lights can actually be seen from space. That's right. Astronauts on the International Space Station get a fantastic view of the auroras from above Earth. Imagine looking down at our planet and seeing all those colors swirling below you. Some astronauts say it's one of the most beautiful things they've ever seen. Here's another cool fact. Animals in the Arctic, like reindeer, can see ultraviolet light, which means they can probably see the northern lights even better than we can. So while humans are amazed by the colors, animals might be seeing even more intense versions of the auroras. All right, let's test your knowledge with another quiz. True or false? The northern lights can only be green. Is your little one working on finding their words? You're not alone in this journey. At Goalie, we've developed a speech and language system to support early learners. Our goal? To help kids learn their first 50 words. Here's what makes Goalie special. Interactive apps designed by expert speech therapists. We make ad-free content like this one to support learning. Our app for parents lets you track your child's progress. Every child develops at their own pace and Goalie is here to provide that extra boost. Our system has already helped thousands of families across America support their children's communication skills. Visit GetGoalie.com today and use code YouTube10 for 10% off your first purchase. Again, that's GetGoalie.com to give your learner a boost in speech. If you said false, then you're absolutely correct. While green is the most common color, the northern lights can also be red, blue, and purple, depending on the type of gas and altitude. So let's recap what we've learned. The northern lights, or aurora borealis, are beautiful light displays that happen when particles from the sun collide with gases in Earth's atmosphere near the north and south poles. These collisions create different colors with greens, reds, blues, and purples lighting up the night sky. The best places to see the northern lights are in the aurora zones, and if you're really lucky, you might catch them during a big solar storm, even if you're far from the poles. Thanks for joining us on this adventure to learn about the northern lights. Next time you hear about a solar storm or an aurora forecast, you'll know what's going on up there and maybe even get a chance to see the northern lights yourself. Remember, these lights are a perfect example of how amazing our planet and the universe are. Subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more and be sure to check out our other playlists. Keep exploring and we'll see you next time.